I'll see what I can do, man. No problem, bud. Dude, you're gonna get tased. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today we're going to be out here in the county, Blaine County to be exact. Uh, I have completely updated my EUP, which I believe I said in the last episode, but I can't remember. I switched out the county cars again. We are using um, these BCSO cars by Jedediah. Um, I found them when I was on this page getting the, uh, the highway patrol cars that we used in the last episode. I also put in two new call-out packs. Uh, J-A-R-M callout and first callout. So we're going to experiment with some of those today, see how that goes and all that uh, jazz. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this and um, like the last episode, I have no idea if you like the uh, cuts because I'm just filming a whole bunch of them in a row because I'm bored. Thank you, Rona. So, <laughs> but with that being said, we're going to get out here on patrol and see what we can get into. 1637, show me 1041, 10 8, and available. We have a civilian in need of assistance on Panorama Drive. 1637, you can show me now. Alright, so we've got a person with a broke down vehicle. This is actually a part of the first call out. So we'll see what's going on. We weren't even that far away, so. Office is on site. 1637, you show me 23 on there. Alright, let's see what's going on. Hey, how's it going, bud? What happened? I was driving in my vehicle and just stopped working? Okay. Alright, well, I'll see what I can do, man. No problem, bud. Alright, man. Should be good to go. Look like your spark plug wire came undone. Something like that, I guess. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> 1637. You can show me clear off that. Uh, I was able to repair the vehicle. A distributor cap or something. Who knows? <laughs> Alright. Well, that was easy. Let's see what else we can get into. Code 4. Proceed with patrol. Alright, 16 days. Let me show me now. Alright, so we're uh, getting reports of a homeless guy at the um, looks like the gas station at Sandy Shores. We're going to run over there and uh, make him leave. They want him gone, so we're going to make him leave. Sixteen You can show me 23 at the uh, gas station. You should come over. We'll knit. I'll be out with a uh, BMA. You're wearing a bandana, tan shirt, blue jeans. Hey, how's it going, bud? Hey, they want you to leave the property, man. Oh, the owner of the land, come on, sir, just settle down here. Well, I mean... Unfortunately, the owner wants you to leave, bud. So you kind of got to leave, man. All right, you got an ID on you or something? You got your ID? Appreciate it. Thank you. 1637 radio. You run me a 2729 on a James Andrews common spelling. Date of birth is going to be 42094. All right. 
You got your uh, weapon on you, bud? I want you to do me a favor real quick. Do you mind turning around for me? Patch damage, you don't have anything on you you're not supposed to have. You have a, a weapons permit, so I'm not worried about that. Nope, you don't even have it on you. So why why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you just say you didn't have it on you, bud? Oh, okay. Alright, well, they want you to leave. So, unfortunately, i got to ask you to go, man. Take care. No, this way. You need to leave. There you go. I have a feeling he is drunk off his ass. Alright, sixteen thirty seven, you can show me clear off that. I'll be back code four and ten eight. Alright, well, that was easy. We have a possible 390 on Grapeseed Main Street. 16 days, So we're getting reports of a possible poisoned customer. Sixteen days, everybody. Show me 23 on scene. Hey, what's going on, guys? Ma'am, can you hear me? Uh, 1637 radio. You can go ahead and roll me an ambulance. Ambulance. Assistance required on Grapeseed Main Street. Uh, what happened, man? All right. There it is. Did you see what happened? This guy here put some weird stuff in her food. Now she is unconscious. Don't okay. Die on me. That's everything you can tell me. All right. Hey, my man's. What? What's going on, dude? To you. Oh shit. What's going on, dude? I guess I cannot be talking to him. Peace to you. Hey, did you put something in her food, man? Yeah, she deserves it, you idiot. Why'd you do that? Ah, 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 ah. 16 December, I got one uh, BMA fle fleeing on foot. Gonna be headed down Grapeseed Main Street. Hey, stop running. Hey, dude, you're gonna get tased, man. Stop running. 1637 radio, it's gonna be a black male wearing two ton green shirt, tan shorts, running down Grapeseed Main Street. Hey! Come here. Peace. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Alright, circling down under the water tower. Stop running, dude. I'm gonna tase you. I'm gonna tase you. Peace. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, dude. Alright. Oh, I missed. 1637 radio. I'm, can I get some additional units, please? We're going to be running behind the buildings on Main Street. Come here. Dude, you're going to get tased. Yeah. <laughs> Put your hands up and get down on the ground, dude. I got your six. Down on the ground, man. Blockhead. I'm on it. Don't move, man. Six. 
1637 radio. We're going to have one 1015 in custody. That was all that necessary, dude. You got anything on you that's going to stick me, poke me, stab me, make me bleed, make me mad, needles, hand grenades, rocket launchers? Anything like that? Cigarette pack containing several rocks of suspected crack cocaine. And a pair of panties. Interesting. Alright, let's go, dude. Hey, I'm going to walk him back over to my car. Alright, so let's get him back over to the car, and then we will uh, go from there. He even admitted to it, so he's going to get hit with attempted murder. We'll let the DA figure the rest out. I don't have a seat in there. Alright. Alex Power. Hunting on restricted land. Uh, well, today he's going to be going for attempted murder. Uh, and fleeing and eluding. As soon as I remember where that's at. <laughs> uh, where was that at? I'll find it eventually. Resisting or obstructing. Uh, resisting arrest. Nonviolent. And attempt to flee on foot. Alright. Alright, let's go see if uh, the store owner's got anything else to say. Hey, bud. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Alright, hey, you got a, um, an ID for the report? You got your ID? Thanks. Thank you. Alright. I don't believe I have that in here anymore. I don't. Alright. Alright, appreciate it, bud. Be safe. All right. Hell, I need you to vacate the premises. Okay. I could just let this guy go again if you want. All right. Well, we'll get him down to the jail and uh, go from there. Sixteen thirty-seven. You show me twenty-three at the station with one. And score by myself. Seats, my man. <clears throat> All right, you gonna stand right there and face those bunks. Don't turn around until I tell you to. I take these cuffs off. You keep facing that way. The struggle go. All right. Shit. All right. Attempted murder. Attempted murder as of right now. She went to the hospital. She was, uh, I know the EMS had her up, so I guess we'll see. Well, I guess we won't see, but just have to see what, uh, EMS says. Alright, 16 day 7. You show me clear up that. Now you're back, code 4 and 10 8. Alright, let's check the court rack case and see what we got going on. So we only had the one, the Alex Powers, which is the guy we had just arrested. And, uh, he was arrested for resisting arrest, nonviolent, attempting to flee or elude on foot, and attempted murder. 
Uh, let's see. Find $345 one month in prison. Find $128 six months in prison. And find $6,000 and eight years in prison. So a total of almost nine years in prison. So we won't be dealing with Mr. Powers until GTA 6 comes out. <laughs> so... Uh, that's funny. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about everything. Don't forget to hit the like button. And uh, I've been noticing that the analytics says that a good 39% of you that watch the videos are actually not subscribed to the channel. Um, if you would, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. And um, it puts me further in the YouTube analytics and stuff. But, but with all that being said, don't forget that you guys are the best. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.